Skyline and today's video I'm upgrading my 7200 RPM hard drives to SSDs from OWC. Let's go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take out number one and number two and I'm going to put the SSDs right there. And it's a one terabyte SSD. It's 3G. I know there's six G's out there, but my Mac Pro is only SATA 2. And the guy at the OWC said the 3G will be better for my model Mac Pro. So I just picked up a 3G uh, it's one terabyte SSD from OWC. I got two of these brackets to put the SSD on. And some tools for my SSD. I gotta say, that GTX 1080 sure looks sexy in this Mac Pro. Okay, let me install these SSD and I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, the SSDs are in the bracket and let's put it in the Mac Pro. Alright, YouTube, the SSDs are installed in my 2010 Mac Pro. And this is how it looks like. I put the other two, one terabyte, 7200 RPM, in the last two trays. And my two SSDs on the first two bays. It's part two of my GTX 1080 in my Mac Pro. Um, apparently, I hooked it up wrong. Um, I guess it was not getting enough power. So my Mac Pro keeps shutting off when I got, if I'm playing a game or I'm on an application on Windows, the computer just shuts off. So um, I've been asking questions on forums and I've been asking questions online on Twitter. I, I want to give a shout out to this person. I think that's the best I can do. Daniel, he has been telling me that um, you should buy too many six pin to eight pin adapter because um, I was not I guess I was not getting enough power to the card okay this is how I hook up right now I have this is the eight pin going to a six pin see that extra slot right there it's not being used so what I did is I went to online and I found a company that makes dual six pins mini six pins to a one a pin you can get it at modify.com I'll put a link in the description and this is what the cable looks like okay YouTube and this, this is what the cable looks like you got two mini six pins hook up to one eight pin connector this will go perfect for the GTX 1080 because the GTX 1080 only has one 8 pin connector so if you guys plan to purchase a 1080 GTX not only you need to get the card you need to get this so or like I said you can do this I can show you another thing you can do okay this is the connector that came with the card the GTX 10, 1080 but look at how big uh, the connector are. This, these are not many. Um, these are not many six pin. This is a regular size six pin. So if you can do this off my AMD uh, seventy nine seventy. This is a mini six pin. Um, this is a mini six pin to a to a standard six pin. Okay, all you need to do is buy this cable. So it's a mini six pin to six pin connector so you can connect to your stock um, so you can connect to the stock um, video ca cable, the one that wanna come with the the one that came with the video card. You can do it that way. That's the way I should have done at first. Because I waited from uh, I ordered from Modify 
on a knife and it's barely getting it today. So it took a long time because it's made in Hong Kong. And I'm trying to I search all over and they're the only place that carried it. But like I said, you can you can do it either two ways. Keep your stock video card cable and just buy two more of the mini six pin to six pin or you can buy a two mini six pin to eight pin connector. I'd rather buy this one because it's not separate, you know, it's not plugging into one whole one cable. But if you don't want to wait like two, three weeks, you, just, you can get two of these and plug it up to your 1080 GTX on your Mac Pro and it'll work fine. So I'm going to hook this bad boy to my video card and, and I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, I got it hooked up. See, now it, it's been hooked up to two mini six pin to one eight pin. Before, I had one mini six pin to eight pin connector. This is the right way to hook up your 1080 GTX on a Mac Pro. Um, like I said before, the way I hooked up before, it powered on, it worked fine, but the computer just shuts off. Um, by itself and then I had to unplug my plug off the Mac Pro and then plug it back in and then everything will start up again so I guess it was just not getting enough power to the card so I guess it was not, it was not getting enough power to the card so with this new cable now that I've got two six pins to one eight pin everything should be fine and I'll get enough power um, to the Mac Pro all right, and uh, I guess that's it. Um, you know, I, I finished my upgrade on my 2010 Mac Pro. I got my two SSDs in it. I got the 3G, one terabyte um, SSD from OWC, and I'm finished with this six-year-old PC. Uh, I'm still kicking. Uh, I'm still gonna keep it for a while. Um, I'm not gonna sell it, um, so. Uh, this will this will be the end of my upgrade on this PC for now. I don't think I'll upgrade anything else. Um, maybe to a different video card later on, but this is just a little um, video of me unboxing my SSD, my new cable to my video card, and you know, everything should power it up. I'll leave all the links to the description to all the stuff that I have here, so you can go ahead and purchase a 1080 GTX your Mac Pro. Um, like I said before, like in the last video, in the unboxing of the GTX, there is no drivers for the Mac site currently. But the way I look at it in the forums, because like they're the, the Titan, you know the Titan, if they got it to work on a Mac. The 970, I believe, the 960, 970, and GTX, they got it working on a Mac. And it's the same thing with the GTS 1080. When the new Sierra uh, Mac OS comes out, I believe it will work on that. We just have to wait and see. So, but for right now, it just works on Windows. You can play your games normally. It's like a normal Windows, but it just won't work on the Mac side right now. So, I guess this is it in my video. Thanks for watching. Peace.